And I'm going to show you something. I'm actually kind of embarrassed to show you guys. But I've just been pulled away between work and between all the other projects doing for the kids. You know, you always put your kids first. I have let this one area ne get neglected so bad. And again, this I'm embarrassed. But anyway, I'm going to turn the camera and show you. So this is all of my front landscaping. And as you can see, this is just, it did not get any mulching last year. Uh, this mulch is going on, it's over three years old. Uh, and last year, just totally neglected it because of the time. And as you can see, it's a nightmare. It is a mess. It looks horrible. But you know what, guys? It is totally fixable, and I will make this beautiful again. So anyway... I am going to get busy here shortly. First thing we're going to do is knock down all these weeds. Obviously, I got a lot of uh, trimming and pruning to do. But anyway, I've got a lot of work to do. So, you know me, guys. Let's get back busy. Well, guys, this was a massive project for me to do pretty much all by myself. So the first thing I did to start knocking down this big project was taking the weed eater and redefining the edge of the mulch beds and knocking down all the real high weeds just to kind of get it just a first pass, so to speak. Once I got that done and got all that cleaned up, then I moved on to a massive job and that was trimming all the hedges, which it got so bad out of shape. But I've worked and was able to get that work then cleaned up and all cleared off into the burn pile. And then after that, I moved on to uh, pressure washing uh, my sidewalk. Uh, sidewalk is a resurfaced, it's actually a shot with a gun that shoots out concrete. And they have this pattern laying out, but you can see it's very porous and the dirt stays in there. So the pressure washer did a great job, as you can see, bringing that back. Then I moved on to another project where I re-gave all of my landscaping lights a facelift. All of the lenses were completely uh, covered over with dirt. They were very dingy. The lights were dim. Uh, and you can see, if you look at the light that's up above, up near my head that's in the ground, how faded that was, uh, you can see all the paint just brought it back and now they work beautifully. And then this was a huge project that I wanted to do, which was adding an, a layer, another area of river rock in my mulch beds. And I saw this at a hospital that I worked at and I thought it looked so nice. But in my case, I needed it to be, uh, it, it's functional as well. I have really big roof line, a lot of square footage, and when we have the really hard thunderstorm downpours, it overwhelms the gutters and the water just flows over. Well, in the past, where that drip line is, it would just wash out all my mulch. So this uh, rock line extends out past the overhang of my roof. So when the water flows down, it flows down and hits this rock. And, and it doesn't wash anymore. So that is a tremendous change. And besides that, it's just so beautiful the way it's a wonderful addition of blending river rock and mulch together. So this was a huge project. I did it on both sides and I'll show you later. So obviously here comes the big part and that's the mulching. Uh, I use the dark brown double ground dyed. Uh, that is a product I chose on purpose and the reason being is if it has the dye in it, it lasts about three times longer. So uh, it's, uh, it's a little more expensive, but you know, this is like three years on this mulch. So it's done very well and I'm really tickled the way this all turned out. Well guys, after weeks and weeks of work, delays with my full-time job, having to be out of town a bunch working, uh, weather and everything else, I finally got most of this project complete. I've got it to the point I want to show it to you. Uh, obviously you've seen in the video, there were so many things that I implemented in uh, this facelift on the front. Uh, so let me just walk through and let's show you the reveal. So here is the front section. Uh, and can you guys believe I haven't even had this installed that long and already the deer are starting to eat my monkey grass and my larape. Uh, you can see right here where this is being nipped down and that's just the deer getting them. It is so frustrating to work so hard and then they come in right behind you. <laughs> so anyway guys, if you remember and I'll try to throw in a, a quick reminder of what this area looked like uh, when I started. But you can see this is an amazing change. And let me walk around here. One of the things I wanted to show you guys is this is one of the areas that I added the river rock. And I really love how this turned out. Uh, I've got quite a bit of new um, uh, foliage planted in here. 
and and then down here we've added a whole bunch so this right here another big area and I'll throw in um, a, a quick b-roll to remind you what this looked like and then here is the other section that we added the river rock up next to the house and I thought that turned out great and it's also doing what I needed besides looking nice um, when the roof gutters get overwhelmed the rock can handle it and then this right here I'm just so tickled with the way this has now turned out the transformation here as well so a lot of work has been put in uh, between cleaning all the glass pressure washing the sidewalk of uh, giving all of my landscaping lights facelifts and repainting you can see how nice they look and how they're holding up and then we add in the the big mountain rocks that we brought in as well as the river rock it's just a really nice blend of quite a few different things so guys thanks so much for joining this journey this one has taken a while but uh, really tickled the way it's turned out so guys don't forget here at project next one as you can see there's always projects on the book so we'll continue moving forward